Air traffic, Hackfield Helicopter Victor Limit is an R22, currently just south of the Logan River mouth, will be operating here, not above 500 feet, for the next 3-0 minutes, Hackfield and Morton Bay traffic. Yeah, so 53 knots, just holding it here for a second, yeah. no climbing or descending on that VSI. Got about 17, eh? Yeah, about 17 and a half inches. Yeah, maybe 18. 23 and a half, so we got 6 inches spare. No tower. No tower, but we can do a hover out of ground effect, so yeah. we should be able to find our ETL for a spot. I'm going to demo exactly how Roger will want it. Okay. Follow me through. Yep. And we're going to do it to that spot just behind, just down there. Yep. So first things first, he wants fairly tight orbits. you got to make sure that you're keeping an eye on your airspeed and not letting the wind blow you too far uh, into the spot or, or too far away from the spot. And then we'll start our, our uh, spot check. So size. It's definitely big enough to get a 22 into. Now we're a little bit power limited today, but it's big enough where we'll be able to do a couple of different takeoff uh, profiles if we need to. Shape, it's sort of long in the north-south area, so if we need to, we might even use it like a runway. Uh, and it's it's fairly wide too, so you know we have a couple of different options for manoeuvring. Little tree in the middle of it there. Yeah, there's a couple of trees in there. Um, speaking of surface, it's sort of a mangrovey area, so it could be wet squishy, you know, that grass could be taller than we think it is. Yeah. Um, so we'll put an asterisk next to that, we'll, we'll confirm that on our on our low recce. Um, slope, I can't see any slope from up here. Uh, it's hard to judge from up high, so we'll put another asterisk next to that and we'll confirm that on our lower recce. Sun, um, sun's directly above us today, it's not going to be a factor for an approach no matter where we're approaching to. And surrounds, you know, there's a couple of farms around in the surrounding areas, a little airfield, maybe five or six miles south. Um, apart from that, in the immediate area, you know, you know, there's some taller trees on the outside. There's a couple of maybe medium-sized trees in the spot itself. Um, so we'll keep an eye on them for our approach and when we're maneuvering in the area. All right, W, we, we said the wind's definitely a northeasterly today. That's pretty good with the length of the of the spot too. It's sort of long in the north-south direction, so we'll be able to make our approach uh, into wind. I'd say probably between 10 and 15 knots. Wires. I can't see any evidence of wires in the spot itself, but we'll confirm with that on our ramp, on our lower recce. It's very hard to see wires from up here, but from right now, there's the, you know there's no poles or towers or buildings or yeah. roads or anything. There's a couple of wires, maybe half a mile to the east, yeah. um, so we'll keep an eye on them as we fly away from the spot. Right, approach. We'll approach from the south into the north, using the length of the spot and the wind. We'll abort. Uh, just before we get below the trees or, or out of ETL, uh, but we'll fly a dummy approach. Okay. We'll never be fully committed. The only yeah. thing you fully commit to is to go around. Uh, terminate, we'll use the whole spot if we need to, so we can terminate at the very end of the spot, and then it, the spot's big enough to where we can maneuver and, uh, and uh, take off from this side. Pre-landing check, so warning for some lights are out, temperatures pressed to normal, trims away, we can do a little bit of car beat and collective friction is off. We'll go down to about 300, 250, 300 feet to do our low recce. And on our low recce, we're, we're confirming uh, some of the things that we've already looked at. So uh, surface, yeah, it still looks like it could be, you know, there are some puddles in there, yep. and the grass could be taller yeah, than we think. So I, I think, uh, you know, we'll, we'll use a bit of caution when setting down. Slope to a... Yeah, slope's another asterisk. I don't really think there's much of a slope in this spot. I can't see any anyway. Uh, wires uh, is another one. I, I really don't see any evidence of wires, but we'll never stop looking for wires. We'll, we'll constantly uh, keep an eye on those wires. Um, cool. Yep. All right, we'll set up our approach. So we said we're, we're going to approach from that direction. So we'll start the descent now. Th this is what uh, he says is it's like a bit of a spiral down. You know, you, you can do SWAT C and make it a, a bit of a circuit, yeah. uh, but this is a good way of doing it quickly and, uh, and efficiently. You know, if you're in a commercial operation, you, you want to get things done quickly. So we sort of just spiral down, keep that airspeed on. We're at 40 knots now. Don't want to get below 30 until we are ready to pretty much terminate. All right, so we've set up a nice final now. There's a couple of birds. All right, we're not committed yet. Very gradually. Yeah, I'd say we are nearly committed. We can still go around. The good thing about this spot is that we can always sort of go around. And I'll use the whole spot because there's no reason not to. 
have made sure that these blades are clear. It's pretty boggy, mate. Yeah, it is pretty, it, it is pretty uh, wet down here. So we'll do a, uh, a wet landing procedure. Yeah. So as we come down, we'll keep an eye on these skids and we'll go lighten the skids first and then a bit of a shake with the collective and pedals, uh, sorry, the cyclic and pedals before coming down the rest of the way. I like that. <laughs> it's definitely pretty spongy, isn't it? We're going to have to give these uh, these uh, skids a bit of a clean. Same thing on the way up. you got to be careful with the cyclic yeah. pedals. Make sure we're not hooked at all. Yeah. And then repositioning in the spot. So, you know, the wind's coming from this direction. We, we could just take off from here, but we don't have much power. So let's, let's maneuver around the spot. Get our tail clear here. Now we're just clean the right, left pedal turn. Cool, all right. Left pedal turns only. Yep. And we always clear to the right before we make a left pedal turn. So definitely quite power limited today, so we're gonna use as much yeah, as, as much can. of the area as we can. Yeah. Alrighty. Tower road is clear. Right pedal turn. Tower road is still clear. Alright, so now we got a bit more of a run up. Yep. Alrighty. Now we do set one more abort point. So do you see that smaller bush sort Over of there, yep. maybe yeah oh, fifty meters away? If we're not getting lift by them, we're gonna abort and try it again. Okay. Alright, warning caution lights are out, temperature pressure normal, aiming point, the lowest trees are in this direction. This is where the wind's coming from too. Yep. Uh, there's no traffic or wildlife around or anything like that. Alright, and I'm gonna take off using as little space as possible, so I've got that power in as much as I can, trying to find that ETL, there it is, there we go, and I'm just using all the power I have available to me, winds more sort of from this direction I reckon, yep. there we go, and take control from me when you're ready, okay, I have control, you have control, alright, do the exactly, exactly the same thing that I just did, yep, and uh, back to that spot, and then we'll pick a slightly harder spot, so we go back around this way, yeah, so yeah. right orbit's always, yeah, because you're in the pilot seat, you'll be able to see better at your right side,